Taoiseach, I again raised the issue of UHL. On the 15th of March, HICWA visited UHL to measure its compliance with four key standards. It failed three, was only partially compliant with the fourth. They found that there was inadequate capacity and pointed to the fact that it was the only Model 4 hospital and there were no Model 3 hospitals in the region. They found that there was inadequate management of existing capacity, in particular human resources. That's just one day, Taoiseach. On every day, it's overcrowded. On every day, it poses a danger to the patients it's supposed to serve. On every day, people are afraid to go to that emergency department. People are afraid that frail family members will be brought by ambulance to that department, begging ambulance drivers to bring them to another facility. I have lived that fear, as have many families right across this constituency. As head of government of this state, Taoiseach, will you take responsibility for remedying this into your department Deputy. to ensure it is remedied? And if not, what will be done by your government to remedy this situation? Taoiseach? The, the HSC is responsible uh, for the delivery of health services, the operation of health services. So the capacity for uh, the, a government department or indeed a Taoiseach's department to begin running hospitals is simply not going to happen, it's not a runner, nor is it feasible or practical as a solution. But what we can do, uh, and the Minister has met with the Chair and the CEO um, uh, and senior management of the HSC uh, and has requested the development of comprehensive plans which will set out short-term and long-term measures, uh, which will set out, sorry, to, to be taken nationally and at each emergency department uh, and community healthcare organisation uh, to ensure um, improve, sustainable improvements in ED performance. Um, and without question, uh, the last number of months have been very challenging in emergency departments, exacerbated by the constant recurrence and prevalence of COVID-19 uh, in terms of not Thank just you, what happens within Time the hospital up. itself, but in terms of egress from the hospital and the inability of some community nursing units and nursing homes to take patients from the acute phase of, of hospitals because of their having been subject to outbreaks of COVID as well. So it has been very challenging. Everybody,